guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. Today I'm going to share with you guys a flip through of my January Coco Daisy um, Daisy Dory. And this is basically a traveler's notebook with um, pre made, like pre um, designed pages on the inside. So, like, there's some grid paper, there's some colored pattern paper, um, just all kinds of stuff like that. And then I used the Coco Daisy. Um, Traveler Notebook kit as well, so you'll see a lot of um, things from the kit as well as like the Traveler Notebook insert pages, and I'll try to point out what different things are. So let's get started. So here is my kind of like just cover page. They all have this nice cart uh, cardstock cover. Um, yeah, I guess it's like a craft colored. <laughs> I can't talk today. It's a craft colored cardstock um, kind of cover and then on like it has Coco Daisy engraved or embossed on the back there and then on the inside you have like your beginning um, page. So I just did January stories which was like a little sticker and then I stamped out 2022 because I'm going to try to do one of these a month since I do have the um, kit that you get one of these every single month. This month was a little tough. I was a little behind on finishing up the notebook and at first I was like oh my goodness I don't know how I'm gonna stick to this but I started to watch some travel notebook videos towards the end of making this and got a kind of some ideas and some helpful hints to making these kind of layouts so we'll see but I think I have an idea of I think I can make it work now so anyway um okay I'm rambling way too much so let's get into this so my first one is New Year's um I put Happy New Year and basically these were right at midnight so like you know ready for the new year I use this new year fresh start some rubble ones that were in the kit, just a stamp and some splatters. Now I will say with the splatters they did go through just a little bit so you might want to watch that when you do things like that on directly on the pages. Um, this was an insert. My favorite activity is going back inside where it's warm. <laughs> Love that. And then this little sticker said Alexa skip to spring. So that just worked out pretty good there and I just used a selfie and did a little decorating on this side and also used some splatters. I tried a different um, brand of splatters or of inks and I had an even worse problem on the back but luckily this covered up a lot of it. So on this page I actually used a little bit of the December kit from just like the Modern Memory Keeper kit because I thought that this card especially this cozy season worked really well with our outside snow pictures because my son's hat like kind of matched that hat and then I wanted to use those snowflakes so I used a little bit of that kit for this page and I tried to stamp the date because I decided like in this book I wasn't necessarily going to do everything in order now I did start kind of in order but as you see I kind of mix up the days as I go Mainly just so I can use the papers that I want to use for that specific photo instead of going in order of the photos. So it'll be like the whole month, but they might be a little mixed up. Um, this was also another picture from New Year's Eve, so like I said, it's a little mixed up. I did a full-size photo of me and my hubby with the little Snapchat filter there. This one was about... Um, a dessert that we had uh, out at a restaurant one night that we actually got a night out away from without my son which is very rare so had to document that. Um, this one was about me getting new glasses. I decided to do this one a little bit more like journal-y. Um, not sure how I feel about it yet. I kind of like it. Kind of. It's kind of different. I was just trying out like different styles to see kind of what would work and what wouldn't work for me. So this one was a kind of a big experiment in this book. Here was one that I didn't do anything on the patterned side. And I just kind of used a photo and kind of a little collage area over there. And that actually turned out pretty cute. I kind of like that page. Here I used two photos on a double page about our cats. 
Um, over here I tried to stick with the black and white and stamping and I did this page about some these little um, piggies they were like it was like a mold and you put little hot dogs in it and then you poured Bisquick and you made like little pig in a blanket type things then we also ended up with the extra biscuit, putting chocolate chips in and making like a dessert little pig and they were pretty good too. They taste like little pancakes. <laughs> that was fun. Um, then we get to the awful COVID week where we were just very tired pretty much the whole time. So that was my uh, COVID tired because that is a whole new type of tired. <laughs> On to train love, which was a picture of my son with his some of the new tracks for, that he got for Christmas and stuff like that. He is just he loves trains. Um, this one I had this like sunset photo, and I actually did one of those stitching things. The kit came with like a template that you like could poke your holes, and then I stitched it. Um, I'm not sure about that 100%. I don't I don't know. I don't really like how it looks like cut out on top of this, but eh, it's alright. And then I used like the Nuvi dots or whatever, and they actually worked really well on this instead of the splatters because they didn't go through. So that was pretty cool, I learned that. Um, this page was, as you can see, just a big long journal session about the month. So that was just pretty much a summary of our whole month. Here was another photo from New Year's Eve, my boy with his friends. And I used that cute airplane because I thought that, you know, was kitty, kiddish, and kind of just worked well with that photo of all them. Then I added a couple airplanes from the stamp set that I stamped on paper and colored them and then cut them out. Here's one that was photo of my son in my boots, <laughs> my winter boots, so I have a walk in mom's boots and I just kind of made a little page about that. That was actually the very last page I did in this book. And then I have finally sledding. This was all about sledding because little man had wanted to go sledding all winter long. Like since before Christmas he'd been asking me about sledding and I said well, we have to get snow first buddy and we have to get enough snow. Well. January we got like all the snow. A lot of little snows, but we had one that was decent enough that we got to take him sledding finally, so he was super happy. And there's the end with the little Coco Daisy um, logo and stuff and the back page. So that is my Traveler's Notebook. It's a little chunky. Um, it's not terrible. I've seen worse. I can still shut it pretty decent. Which was my goal, like I didn't try, I tried not to use anything too bulky because I wanted it to close pretty well and fit in my storage system for all these, so yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoy, hopefully you got some ideas from that and some inspiration, and I will see you all next time, bye!